Good morning from Discovery Cove. This is one of our favorite places in Orlando to come, and today is going to be a good day. <laughs> I'm so excited. What's what car? Well, speaking of cars, we are in the parking lot, and the first thing we should mention is that Discovery Cove parking is totally free. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and easy. <laughs> so Discovery Cove opens at 7, and they offer breakfast from 7.30 to 10.30, so we're going to go inside and get some breakfast first yeah. off. Let's do it. And we're going to show you how to sort of like the registration, the um, entering. Like check-in process. Yeah. Let's do that now. Wanted to say thank you to Discovery Cove for having us out. Very excited about today, so let's go inside and get some breakfast. So as soon as we pass through bag check, now we are in the check-in area, and we go up here and we wait in line for somebody to call us over so we can be checked in. So now that we have checked in, they checked our IDs and they gave us our lanyards, and then as soon as we make it out of the front entrance here, there is a spot where you can get coffee here. They have both decaf coffee and regular coffee. So as we are walking back towards breakfast, we actually have a cabana today, but I wanted to point out that over here at First Aid, there is also a quiet space because both SeaWorld and Discovery Cove are certified autism centers. And we are also passing by the gift shop, the very first gift shop we see. Lots of stuff here, but I also wanted to point out, so there's hand sanitizer available all over the place. But not only is there hand sanitizer everywhere, there is sunscreen available everywhere. It is a little bit of a thicker sunscreen because it is zinc oxide based, so it doesn't rub in very good and you have to reapply it very often. So like I said, Breakfast and lunch are both included here at Discovery Cove at Laguna Grill and the hours of this are open to 10.30 and then lunch is available from 11 to 3.30. Now, Discovery Cove is only open from 7 till 5, so there is a little bit of time at the end of the day where you can't get full food like breakfast and lunch type stuff, but you can get snacks all over the place. They have a sign as soon as you walk in showing what the signature entrees are for today. So this is all lunch stuff, a burger, churrasco steak, Caribbean spiced salmon, barbecue pulled pork sandwich, chicken tenders, and grilled jerk chicken. Sounds delicious. Some of these are gluten-free. So for breakfast, we've got eggs, we've got Southwest eggs, we've got some sausage over here, some potatoes, some French toast sticks. We got some biscuits and gravy. And then back there, it looks like we've got some oatmeal. And then we've got various pastries over here. Some little chocolate chip mini muffins. Oh, it looks like it's a petite cheese and fruit Danish. And then we've got oranges, like fresh fruit, bananas, some yogurt parfait, and then yogurt. Then we've got some raisin bran up here, some pears, some apples. And then there is complimentary coffee and tea located at the beverage station outside. And we've got yogurt and chocolate milk and applesauce and regular milk, frosted flakes. Oh, and then just a thing of raisins too. And then outside for drinks, they've got some Coke, Diet Coke, Coke Zero, Minute Maid, Lemonade, High C, Apple Juice, Sprite, some Fanta, some iced tea. And then of course in the morning, they have some orange juice. All right, so here we are, we're at our cabana. And we are right next to one of the dolphin lagoons. And then of course, the best part is there's a hammock inside the cabana. And I like that they put little flowers inside of our towels too. So when you get a cabana, it does come with cabana hosts, which are just a couple of people, a couple of team members that are here to kind of help you throughout the day. Make sure that you're getting to your things on time. Make sure that you're getting the most of your day, all of that fun stuff. So. Um, Jason, who is one of our hosts, said that this is actually his favorite cabana. Oh. He did say that there are 34 cabanas all around Discovery Cove, which I thought was interesting because um, I didn't think there were that many. No. So they're definitely kind of well hidden, which I thought was kind of cool. And the cabana also comes with fully stocked refrigerator, which they will restock throughout the day. And because this is an all-inclusive place, you can get it stocked with beer. And then inside of our, this is a, a locked like locker that you can take the key with you. There's also a snack box in here. So this is full of all kinds of little snacks. You got potato chips in there, Cheez-Its, Rice Krispie treats, peanuts, more potato chips, some Cheez-Its. What's this one? Ooh, plantains, yeah. And then, as I said earlier, there is animal-friendly sunscreen all over the place. So one of the things that is required by Discovery Cove is anytime you're in the water, no matter how good of a swimmer you are, you have to wear one of their vests here, like a neoprene vest, a wetsuit, or one of their life vests. Uh, you can bring your own life vest. We did find out that because Jackson has his little puddle jumper life vest, like his arm floaties and his chest floaty, and they said that's totally fine because it is U.S. Coast Guard approved. So the first thing that we have to do right now is we're going to go do a dolphin swim. The dolphin water is very chilly, so we're going to go and get wetsuits rather than just the little vest to try to keep us warm while we're interacting with the dolphins. One thing I did want to mention about the dolphin swim though is the dolphin swim is an additional charge on top of your entry into Discovery Cove. So 
your entry into Discovery Cove covers your entry, the swimming in the in the, the reef, snorkeling in the reef, wetsuit, uh, fins, mask, towels, breakfast, lunch, beers, wines, snacks, lots of different stuff. But there are a few things that we're doing today, like the dolphin swim, and we're also gonna do a sea venture, which is an additional charge. So while we are swimming with the dolphins, Jackson's gonna go with Lynn and go swimming in the freshwater areas. Show right, buddy? Let me see your vest. Turn around and show me your vest. Yeah. Also, there were sand toys here for him to play with when we got here. So unfortunately, there are no cameras allowed at the dolphin swim. So we're going to describe the dolphin swim to you guys after we are done. All right, so we just finished our dolphin swim. And interestingly enough, it was different from the last time that we did it. They have made some changes, like as everybody has with COVID progressing. Mm -hmm. So last time we had to wear masks in the water. We didn't have to wear them this time. Mm -hmm. And last time we didn't get a kiss from the dolphin. I feel like it was more interactive with the dolphin. Yeah. We were able to get a lot closer to, we had Yoko. And then we also got to meet Gertie. We did get a lot of like more up close interactions with them. And we learned so many cool facts about just those particular dolphins. Yeah and how the dolphins are cared for and like their life here at Discovery Cove. Yeah, it was very cool. We also found out that one of the oldest dolphins in the world is here, named Capricorn in his late 50s. And he was in a movie, he was in Jaws 3. Yeah. He was the one that saves the day. Wow. Yeah. He's a hero neat. dolphin. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Another thing that we found out that we made sure to ask about was like how accessible is the dolphin swim, the dolphin interaction, and the, it is a very accessible activity. It's just really amazing that anybody can really be a part of these activities. I think that's really great. So if you're interested in pricing, what we'll do is we'll put a link in the description down below to Discovery Cove's website because Pricing varies depending on what time of year you come for both admission into the park and for the dolphin swim. I definitely think it's a really great experience because it gets you excited about learning about marine mammals, but also learning about how you can help marine mammals. I think this would be a great thing for kids yeah. so they can understand why it's so important that we take measures to keep our oceans safe for the marine mammals. Yeah, and this is definitely something that will spur like the next marine biologist. Oh, I think for Or sure. the next big conservationist, mm -hmm. so. Uh, now we have a little bit of time before we're gonna do a sea venture too, which is like a Augmented type scuba thing where we put a helmet on I'm gonna actually link so we did this once before like many years ago when they first when they first rolled it out I'm gonna link it down below. I it was such a cool experience and I can't wait to do it again I can't wait to see if there's any differences, but yeah, I'll link that video down below. I remember it being very cool Yeah, right now we're gonna go do a little bit of like meandering around the freshwater area getting in the water over here in the freshwater area Definitely a lot warmer than where the dolphins were. It was almost shocking it's so much warmer. Yeah. I was like, oh. Dolphins were around 72 degrees. This pretty warm. Jackson, have you been having fun swimming over here? Yeah. Yeah? You want to go over here? All right, let's go. You show me. Come get me. Come and get me. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of a current right here. Stick your legs out and kick, buddy. You gotta kick your legs out. There you go. There's some rocks right there. That's right. Jackson said he was hungry, so Jackson and Jen went to go get some food while I'm going into the aviary. There's a little spot over here with a little bit less water quality. You do have to go under a waterfall to get into the aviary. So you can get out and walk around the aviary and still get food and go into the aviary and see the birds. That'll definitely be something that we will try a little bit later. There's a big old bird right there. It looks like a turkey, but it's not. There's a big old bird right there. I did also want to mention that there are depth changes throughout this lazy river. For instance, it's about to drop off to eight feet right here. They do have life vests available for those that need them, and you can get a fun, like a pool noodle to float around on too. All right, so after Jackson and Jen got out of the water, I just did a quick lap around, went into the aviary, saw a few, couple of birds. We're definitely gonna go in there later and like get out and walk around the aviary, try to feed some birds. Now I'm gonna go over and see what they have for lunch available. 
It's uh, about 12.30, our Sea Venture's at 1.15. So we'll eat our lunch real quick, then we'll go to Sea Venture. So Discovery Cove is a limited capacity park, so there are only about 1,500 people in here, but the majority of people are showing up right about now to get some lunch. So because of that, I'm just gonna stop off and get a little snack right now, then we'll have lunch later. Excuse me, can you tell me where the snack stand is? Oh, we just went and got a uh, cherry lemonade. Ooh, that's exciting. So we made it over to one of the snack and drink cabanas. Hey, no cutting, lady. Um, Jeez. Sorry. And oh, we're gonna get a little pretzel. It's deceiving. Yeah, it's still like a nice little soft pretzel, though. <laughs> and they've got some mustard over here for you to get. They also have these little Fanta ices, banana, pina colada, white cherry, lemonade. And then you can get cheese it and potato chips. They have some peanuts and some Rice Krispie treats. And then they have these beers over here that are included with the cost of entry. So like Bud Light Lime, Bud Light, Mick Ultra, Coors Light, and Miller Light, I think are all included. And then a few wines up top too. And then they have a premium drink package where you can get things like Kona Brewing Big Wave, Land Shark. You can get actual like daiquiris, liquor drinks. So for drinks that are included with your cost of admission, you can get Bud Light, Bud Light Lime, Budweiser, uh, Michelob Ultra, Miller Lite, Coors Light, and then they have a red and a white wine that are included. And then they have a whole set of premium drinks that you can get the premium drink package. You can get mixed drinks, you can get full liquor drinks. Then they have higher end beers like Big Wave, Corona, things like that, that are all included in the premium drink package. Or if you'd like to, you can buy those more premium beers and wines by the glass or by the bottle. And then of course, sodas and the smoothies are included. Also included in the cost of admission are lockers. So it's really interesting the way that they do it is before they would guide you to your locker or they would give you a locker number when you first walk in. Now, you just kind of go to the lockers and whichever one still has a key in it, that's one that's available. So like none of these over here have keys left in them. So these are all full right now. However, there are way more lockers. This isn't the only locker location. There's another one down that way. So now we are headed over to do Sea Venture. Sea Venture is so interesting. It's almost like, I call it like an introduction to scuba diving. So you don't need to be certified or anything like that. So it is a forced arrow helmet that goes over top of your head and it's a weighted helmet so it stays down on your shoulders and then they pump air into it so your whole head is dry and you're just breathing air like normal. And we'll show you guys when we get in there because I can take the GoPro in with me. So this will be fun. There is also a shark swim over here and we've done that before and we'll put a link to that in the description down below. So you can see we are over by the last dolphin habitat is over here. And we're kind of going down a path, the reef is right on the other side of these bushes. And we are going to Sea Venture check-in. You can kind of see this is a photo of what, or a drawing of what the helmet looks like. We're about to get in. Here are the helmets. And I'm gonna put one on my head right now.
Her hair's still dry. All right, now we are back from doing Sea Venture. I think that that is probably one of the most unique experiences in all of Orlando. I think it is like the most unique. I, it's definitely, so as somebody who has never gone scuba diving and probably never will, right. I think that that was a really cool way to experience something like scuba diving without scuba diving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you get to stay down for a long time. Yeah. You get to see fish, you get to see stingrays, you get to see all kinds of stuff. You see all kinds of animals. They also explained a lot of what was going on and with the little tablets that they were writing on. It was an Etch-a-Sketch. Yeah. That was cool. I didn't even think that those would work underwater. Yeah. <laughs> And then they had cards that like had a bunch of different facts on them as they were talking about different animals that were around us. It was neat. I loved doing it. I think it's definitely something that I would, if I could do it every time I would. So this was another one of the instances where it is an upcharge activity. And like we said before, we'll put a link in the description down below so you guys can go to the website and see how much things cost on a date where you're thinking about going to Discovery Cove. Back at Laguna Grill, and I believe the line has gone down immensely because it's now going on about 2.20 and lunch is only until 3.30. Seems like everybody had the same idea as us as they saw the line earlier and they're like, we'll just come back later. Earlier I showed you guys the main menu here, pulled pork, Laguna Beach burger, grilled jerk chicken, spiced salmon, Caribbean spiced salmon, grilled churrasco steak, and then this, I think that that is grilled chicken Caesar salad, but they also have the seaside wrap, ham, turkey, and cheese. And they have a vegetable wrap, and then various salads and cold salads. And then of course over here at the kids menu, we got hot dogs, macaroni and cheese, pasta, chicken tenders, and then desserts. One thing I'm not seeing is chocolate chip cookies. I used to see chocolate chip cookies here all the time, but I'm not seeing them. So like these are the salmons, they come with rice and vegetables and the salmon. They also have salads over here. This is the veggie wrap, they have a Ham and cheese wrap, ham and turkey and cheese wrap up top there. A Greek salad, it looks like. Some potato salad, some coleslaw up top. Some pickles, oh, I'm gonna get some pickles, heck yeah. Some pasta salad, some quinoa. Some fruit. Is this, is this carrot cake? Yes. I love it. Then they have chocolate cake. I'm staying with carrot cake various fruits and then whole fruits over here too at lunchtime they do still have coffee available no decaf though that i can see napkins forks and of course sodas and iced tea all right now that we've eaten lunch it's time for me to go over to the reef swim with some stingrays to the aviary like i said before you have to get to it through the river so it's a little bit different than it has been in the past so i went underneath the waterfall and now i'm in the aviary 
I just gotta find the stairs out so I can feed some birds. I got some food to give to the birds. Now we're just looking for some birds. Hello birds, got some food for you. He's like biting my face. <laughs> I have a bird on me. So you gotta come off my shoulder if you want some. No? Diego? How's it going, Diego? You're just gonna come all the way up? He's definitely like picking at me earlier. It's my beard, I think. Do you want some more food? These guys, I think, probably eat meat because they look like dinosaurs. Pooping everywhere. Like, if you've ever seen any dinosaur movies, this is exactly what it looks like. Yeah, then they eat meat for sure. So like if I offered him this, he wouldn't eat it because there's no meat in there. But this guy on the other hand, he might eat something. No? All right, that's a bird bite. Stick out your arm. Yeah, stick out your arm. Oh, stick out my arm. Oh. Hello. Wow. And she turned right around. She's very beautiful. Are you trying to get back up there? There you go. All right, what'd you do while I was swimming with the fishes? So we were looking for you actually the whole time. We were like, maybe daddy, I bet. I, I was like, we're probably circling <laughs> each other. But tell daddy, what did we do? Did we feed some, <laughs> some birds? Did we feed some birds? Yeah. <laughs> what did they do? What did, can you show daddy what you did? How did you feed them? Okay, you to do like water. Oh, um, they got, you had to go under the water to get yeah, to the birds. Yeah, we had to go in the waterfall and they gave us a little cup of food. And what did we do? <laughs> did you hold it out for them? Yeah. You did? Did the birds come down and eat from your from your cup? They did. Oh my. He was really brave too. I thought for sure he would be scared because some of the birds were kind of big. There was one in there that looked sort of like it could have been like a peacock, like a gray peacock. But it was actually a crown, a, a gray crown pigeon. Oh. It was a, the largest pigeon breed. The largest Whoa. pigeon species. I saw those. They were very big. Yeah, and it had like big red eyes. And I yeah. thought he was going to be scared. But he, he just went right up to it. He was oh, totally wow. fine, yeah. Pigeon the size of Jackson. What? It's a leaf. Jackson sized pigeon walking through Discovery Cove. <laughs> it was a very, very fancy pigeon at Discovery Cove. You want this leaf? Yeah. Here you go. So I also found out that the aviary just reopened about two weeks ago and they were replacing all of the all of the netting around the top of the aviary. Oh why? Because it had been there since it opened. Really? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. They were replacing the netting. Do you want to show daddy how you can go on your back? Show daddy. Put your legs down. <laughs> He's swimming this way. This is where, yeah, there's another fish down there too. Come here, bud. Let's go say hi to him. Whoa, you're doing so good. You're going fast. I'm going too fast. No, you're not going too fast. You're going just the right speed. No, we don't go to the coral, buddy. We go to the rock. Yeah, it has the corals on it. Look, right here. Look. Do you see him? Yeah. It's a fish. It does have corals on it. Also wanted to point out that they have a fish spotting guide. So if you're interested in seeing what kind of rays and fish are in this reef, just pick up one of these fish spotting guides. All right, after Jackson went in and with the rays, we came back and they gave us a little towel animal, a little towel octopus. At the cabana. How fun is that? You feel like you're back on the cruise ship? Yeah. Me too. All right, so we we're back at the cabana after Jackson got to swim at the rays. That was so much fun. Yeah. I thought I thought for sure that he was going to be more um, like 
hesitant, but he like ran right in. Wanted that to. That kid wanted is to... not afraid of any animal. <laughs> no, it's amazing to see him. Even I know you guys didn't get to see it, and I'm really sorry I didn't bring my phone in there. But the aviary, he like loved seeing the birds. He he really wanted them to land on him. He's just so brave, and I think having these experiences with him is just such. It's so cool. It's it's like one of the best parts of being a parent. Also, one of the other goals of bringing Jackson to these experiences is to spur like intrigue in him spur something in him that gets him excited about animals or animal care or something like that because this is what 100 percent got me excited about animals when i was younger was coming to sea world orlando and seeing the dolphins seeing the whales seeing the animals there and then i went my original path before vlogging uh and before um home remodel was marine biology yeah that's what you wanted to that's do. what i wanted to do all through high school and then a little bit of college and then I didn't do it. Oh no. So, but that was my that was my life goal for the majority of my my upbringing. But now we get to do cool stuff with animals all the time. Right? So it kind of worked out. Kind of worked out. But I will say that um, I love this place. Me too. Me too. They are closing <laughs> though, so we have oh, to yeah. pack up now. Nah, they close at 5. So, yeah. we got to head out. We got to clean up our space. And um, I don't want to leave. Me neither. Look at this. They got us a like a fruit boat. Wow. A pineapple boat. This Looks is amazing. Really good. This is beautiful. Okay, we gotta eat all of this fruit right now. I thought I would do the like kind of little ending recap kind of right here, but it is so bright behind me. Oh no. But I thought this would be such a nice background. Like the dolphin lagoon back there. Well so this cabana, I think they called it South One. Yeah. Um specifically looks over the dolphin lagoon. And it was so beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice. And the, the sound of the water was really great for Jackson's nap. He, or he just, if like, you'd like to have a nap. Yeah, right. I also wanted to mention, because I don't think we answered this earlier, but the temperature of the water in the freshwater oasis, 81 degrees. They say they try to keep it at 84, but because it's moving water, mm -hmm. it gets down to 81 just because it's moving around. It was perfect. It was very toasty. Today was one of the best days we've had, and we just got off a Disney cruise. Right? I love Discovery Cove. We try to come here at least once a year. Mm -hmm. It is awesome. It feels very much like one of the ports on a cruise. Yeah. Like it that, does. It, it feels, feels like a private island. Yeah, it feels like you're on an island. It doesn't feel like you're necessarily in Florida. It's fantastic. Yeah. We had a really great time. Very relaxing, but also very adventurous. Yeah. So it was a cool mix, a cool mix of a day, you know? A fantastic day. Wanted to say thank you to Discovery Co. for having us out. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.